Welcome back to Let's Play the Executioner, the DLC chapter for The Evil Within. I'm Burning Dog, and that just happened. That safe was not there before. I do find it interesting that they haven't provided me with a name. So I'm just the keeper. Touch it. I think this might be the corner where uh, all that treasure was. No, no, that would have been... Yeah, this corner over here. Treasure I didn't get in the main game, because I couldn't fucking kill Laura. I have to admit, I did feel slightly better when I learned that most people do that on New Game Plus. Oh. Achievement unlocked Home Invasion. Clear the first and second floors of the manor house and the executioner. What is Burn Baby Burn? Kill five enemies with a torch. I really not do that? Huh. Can I grab that? Huh. This corpse is just painted on. Well, I don't think I'll be able to come back up here, so I might as well grab this. That is not just a slunk noise, you know, like a squelch and a clunk at the same time. This fucking game. This is the last of the DLC chapters for The Evil Within, and I gotta say, I'm not gonna miss the gore pits. You know, I am glad that I saved this one for last after all. Had my doubts. But there is a story to it. And the fact that it plays totally different from the Kidman games is actually kind of refreshing. It's also kind of refreshing that there isn't the slightest bit of fear to this, probably because I'm a giant hulking monster. Mobius Directive 05, eliminate test subject CB-205, Soldier. As before, with the death of CB-204, rip in peace, uh, the rate of your daughter's memory loss is slowed. However, all other subjects show more advanced decay than previously recorded. More investigation is necessary. Coinciding with this event, a pathway at the heart of the mansion is opened. We've also located subject CB-205, an ex-soldier. CB-205 must be eliminated. I wonder what CB stands for. Elimination, er, er, eradication of remaining test subjects will leave the girl the only one to retain any memories. However, there is a strong possibility that those memories will not be intact. The approximate locations of remaining subjects can now be determined, but deteriorations of the memory... Deterioration of the memories of the other subjects suggests that full stem domination of other subjects may have occurred. Supplementary information. The appearance of this new location within the manor house suggests a link with a Ruvik entity, and it is believed to be a residual effect of his presence. It is unknown if any part of his consciousness is retained within stem. However, the girl is now on a linear path directly out of our observable area. Influence of the Ruvik entity would account for this change. Cross-reference previous Ruvik case files, as well as goals of test subjects, discernible from their individual transcripts. I don't like the fact that there's a hood on her outfit. Is she turning into a new Ruvik? Like, a replacement Ruvik? Oh, I see, it's a new hub. Daughter's Diary 9. I know I've seen all kind. I must have seen all kinds of scary things that I can't remember, so I don't feel scared at all. That's not exactly encouraging. I like that it just pops open because I'm the keeper.
fair. I'll leave the first one. Yeah, just in case. So now it's up here, right? Yeah. Diary 10. I don't know what to do. I keep forgetting mom and dad's names. It's happened like five times now. I can't believe I forget something like that. I should tattoo them on my arm or something. I wonder if trauma is the ex-soldier. So no, again, they describe that as a manifestation of, uh... Rubik's resentment towards his father's religion or something like that. That animation made any sense, but okay. Ah, okay. Well, she still has an arm in that ghost image, so there's that. Okay, that's, that's cool. I'm on board with that. Daughter's Diary 11. Hey doctor, do you remember my dad? That just looks like a sadist again. Oh no, he's got the thing on his back. I think... No, that's... Kind of looks like a combination of the sadist, trauma, and uh, the twin of the mask on his face. Except he had the mask over his eyes, didn't he? Thanks, Gunny. Thanks, gang. Thanks, gang. Guys. Lonely. Great. I can't read that one. You are going to the heaven. Great. Remember, remember, remember. Bomb, bomb, bomb. Bomb, help, help, help. Help, help. Big iron something. Big iron gun. Boom, boom. Everybody trembles with fear. I forget where I... I forget what... I was. Blood, blood, blood. Man, alive. 
Transcript subject CB205. Soldier, this place is like a dream come true. Time index is 01. I never seem to get tired here. I can fight forever. 02. These grunts are stupid, but they don't quit. If I could get them, if I could get them organized. 03. Getting a little sick of these deadheads. I keep blowing them away, but more of them come. 04. Somebody somewhere is watching me. You won't get to drop on me. 05. I could do anything I want in this place. I'm a rocket launching fool. 06. Bring it on, bitches. I got ammo out the ass. 07. It's like there's an icicle freezing my brain. They're trying to take my thoughts. Just checking my timer. Okay. Eliminate the RPG sadist? Dang. I remember there was a sadist at the very end of the game with an RPG on him, but he was dead. Oh, that's kind of lame. They reused the boss fight arena. not smart, and yet it didn't hurt him at all. You got health this time. Excuse me. Oh, he led me. Dudes, too. I'll grab that. Ah, oh, shit. I needed to be invincible right then. Ow. Okay, it's generally worked out well for me when I go up here. I have to grab one thing, and he tries to blow my ass off. Ah, oh, God. Die. health to drop out, even though I don't even know if it does that in this setting. Rocket launcher is now available for purchase in the shop. Shit. I 
was really, really hoping that would uh, heal me. You know, for murdering him. Oh. OBS Directive 06. Eliminate test subject CB210. Psychiatric patient. The influence of the soldier subject has been negated. We've also determined the location of your daughter as well as your next target. Stem's domination of your daughter dramatically accelerated. The moment she is completely subdued, rescue will no longer be possible. You must find and eliminate the psychiatric patient to CB210. Supplementary information. It is unclear if the sudden acceleration in stem domination is caused by CB210 or some artifact of the Ruvik entry. There has been some circumstantial evidence of his presence, but nothing has been verified. We'll examine data from the Ruvik incident to support the supposition that reducing the number of test subjects will bring one closer to the core. Oh no. Erosion of the girl's memory cannot be avoided. We are formulating a new hypothesis to account for recent developments. Transmission is more difficult in the basements below the mansion. There are two targets left, but obtaining accurate readings is difficult. That sucks if I can't go back, because there were health bars, uh, health bars, health boxes in both of those, uh... Oh. safe I can teleport to? In both of the boss rooms I left uh, behind. Shit! Maybe I can buy a health upgrade. That would be nice. Fist! Alright, I lucked out. Increase the maximum level of the life gauge. Oh. Now I'm going to save the game. Kind of hoping to get that by the end. Uh, it was in there. There isn't much time left, so I'm just gonna go in here and uh, do another round of this, and then call it an episode. as well. Death! Clark, I am slain! Oh, I knew you were coming. You fat fucker. Oh. I really lucked out in that one. I don't know how that worked. Ooh. Mind? Alright, I'll just take you and uh, drop you 
like an idiot. Dropping health kits anymore. I'm not doing it right. Oh, sick. Oops. And he's dead. Ladies, please. There's more than enough death to go around. I didn't knock Oscar's head clean off. I'm wondering if he even lost his jaw, to be honest. He's much tougher than Oscar. Ah, oh, the last guy. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'll see you in the next episode of Let's Play the Executioner, the DLC chapter for the evil within. Later. <laughs>